And now it is my great honor to welcome a champion for working families, Congressman Jim Langevin. John, thank you very much, and good morning, everyone. What a great day for a kickoff uh, for this bus tour, and I'm just absolutely thrilled to be here. Um, obviously, uh, we would have had our senators join, but they are doing important work in Washington, as you know. Uh, we heard on the news uh, that uh, it looks like we are on our way to passing the legislation, the generation uh, investment in our infrastructure, so hopefully that's going to get passed, too. And, and I know that they are, of course, supporters of this effort. Uh, to establish a family medical leave. Too. But I'm thrilled to be here with my colleague in the House, Congressman David Cicinini, and uh, also to be here, I want to give a shout out to uh, Representative uh, Raldo, who's here, and also uh, Senator Golden, uh, as uh, we just heard leader of the leaders of this effort here at the state level. And uh, also my good friend, Catherine Taylor from AARP. Great to see you as well, Catherine, and to be with everyone. So, we are all here for one reason, and that's to join John Huckle Bridge and the Paid Leave for All campaign as they embark on uh, their cross-country tour to raise awareness and grow up support for a national paid leave policy that benefits all Americans. It is long overdue. It's time that we pass this into law. I hope you agree. Woo. So you, you've heard, uh, uh, as Dawn mentioned earlier, but the United States is uh, one of only two countries in the entire world that doesn't offer any form of paid leave for new parents. The other countries, how can you win? Well, that is unbelievable and it's unacceptable. We're going to change that. I want to say that uh, uh, this is something that I believe in, I know David believes in, the delegation believes in, and I know all of you believe in. And it's not just about paid leave, uh, paid family leave. It's about sick leave, too. Uh, if the pandemic, of course, is us anything at all, is that we need a national medical leave policy so that no one has to go uh, to sacrifice their health or their co-workers' health or their family's health just to keep their job. How many people in this country get up every day and they know they're sick, they know they're going to stay home with them, they care uh, and they don't get themselves well, but they have to make that choice. Do I go to work and, and earn a, a, a paycheck to pay for that day, or do I stay home, not get paid, and then have to struggle to pay the rent, or put food on the table, or pay other expenses that the family needs? So we should have to make that choice between their health and a paycheck. We're going to change that by passing this pay medical need policy. Among other uh, policies, uh, President Biden uh, administration uh, is fighting for, this is a president who believes in fighting for American families, and he's fighting for the American families plan, which is a once in a generation opportunity to pass comprehensive paid family and medical leave so that all workers have time to heal from an illness or an injury, welcome this child into the world or help a loved one recover or ease their passing. It's the right thing to do for all American workers and it'll you know, help grow our economy to do the good for our country. It's good for our economy. So I'm so proud that when I became the third state uh, in this country to pass paid uh, pay leave law back in 2014, it's nice to see Rhode Island leading the way. But it's far past the line that we have a uniform policy for all 50 states. And we're going to get this done. So Dawn and the entire paid leave for all team, I'm going to thank you for choosing to kick off your campaign right here in Rhode Island. And, uh, we wish you all a very safe and successful journey across the country to get this law passed and we're going to be right there with you every step of the way. Thank you very much. Thank you, Congressman, and thank you for being here and for all of your support of me.